This Ridlio is sponsored by InfinitePoint.com. Speaking of charitable activity, this young lady did a type of activism that I think turned out to be even better than Fisher's. No civil disobedience, just collecting food to give to poor folks on Thanksgiving and so forth. I think they do some other things besides that. Her organization is called ShireSharing.com, I think. I wouldn't have rated it as highly as I am rating it, except for the fact that it actually did hit on the uh, publicity generating cylinder. You know, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it, it didn't really fall. So I'm glad that she got a lot of attention for what she was doing. Uh, she even hit on the flushing authoritarians out cylinder, if you can believe that, because some police website got freaked out about the fact that she was uh, more popular than, or thought that she might be more popular than a police officer who was running for some award in town. Uh, ultimately, that proved not to be the case. He did defeat her, but... In the process, again, the authoritarians were fleshed out in the open. I'm not really sure where to rank all these podcasts that are springing up in, in state. I guess a lot of it depends on whether the podcast in question is getting attention or not. I would say that by and large, we don't really need a lot more podcasts. It would be so much better if we were promoting and expanding the ones that already exist getting them on mainstream radio, which, of course, Free Talk Live is doing. I'll come to that later. I'm not really sure how to place this type of activism on the uh, stepladder, the escalator, because it's kind of new. But uh, some folks uh, have started an organization called Graffiti Paint Bar, and it's a sort of liberty-oriented group, but they do a lot of uh, teaching people how to paint. Uh, and I think there's commerce involved. You know, you pay for lessons or whatever. That brings us to the what I call the... Well, it addresses the sustainability cylinder, but it's the first piece of activism I can point to that says, you know, hey, hello, I can make money at this. No, no, it's not the first piece of activism I've seen. I guess it's just the first one that I'm mentioning in this series. Mr. McLean, the city being hypocritical and prosperous. Hey, hey, John. Good, how are you? The reason uh, folks like me and Free Talk Live are able to be, uh, to continue doing what we do is because we have you know, it's, a, it's valued enough that people will pay for it. And I really think, although I shouldn't be putting myself too high up on the escalator, I'm not an objective source, but I really think that's what I think, if possible, all of this should be shooting for, is the ability to do something that is so valued in our activism that people want to pay for it. Once that starts happening, then you can really continue it on. Your level of sustainability goes off the chart at that point compared to where it was before. Here's one that seems to hit on most cylinders. The open carry litter pickup in New Hampshire, of course. Goes viral on YouTube, gets mainstream publicity, makes us look good, doesn't require much time or effort. It inspired other people to do something similar. One of the reasons I don't do open carry humanitarian activity much anymore is because this is so much more effective. Rick, the public wants to know, have you ever Googled yourself? Uh, I, try, I encourage people to, to search, search, my, search out my website. The ambush interview. Finally, that practice has started to spread significantly. But again... You ideally don't want to be like Luke Rudowski here, who does a great job with his ambush interviews, except he's outside New Hampshire. And, well, I guess personally I'm not a big fan of the questions that he asks, but at least he's confronting some really high-profile people. He could get four times the bang for the buck if he just did this sort of thing in New Hampshire. It would, by implication, give his supporters an easy, well, a definite action item, and that would be move to New Hampshire where he is. Infinite Coin, the cryptocurrency that aims to provide cheap peer-to-peer -peer infrastructure in developing countries. Their motto, 
Real money for real people. IFC is traded on Beater.com. That means it's easily converted into Bitcoin. I accepted Infinite Coin for this ad. That means you can too. InfiniteCoin.com